Hey y'all, it's Jess. So I wanted to show you my minimalist makeup collection. I have two eyeshadow palettes. This one's probably expired, but I love it so much because it's got all the colors and stuff. It also has some blushes and bronzers and stuff that I don't really use anymore, but I just keep it for the eyeshadow. And then this one, Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose palette, which had a bunch missing because it broke. And so I got it discounted, um, but I'm really into like the natural colors, the browns and reds and the shinies as well. I also have this bronzer from Tarte that smells really nice. And it's like cruelty free. It's called Park Avenue Princess and it's waterproof that I use every day. Um, and then just basic LA Colors highlighter because it's super, super, super shiny. I got that just at like the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is Pacifica, Pacifica, Pacifica? <laughs> um, it's in the shade Camellia. I can't read this. It's vegan, cruelty-free, uh, glut, not gluten-free, <laughs> vegan. <laughs> and it's just like really like a natural, subtle, kind of peachy color that goes good with my tan skin. For primary, I use e.l.f. and I also use e.l.f. setting spray. Uh, I like e.l.f. because they're like cruelty free and stuff. Um, the powder is just LA colors, just like the shiny highlighter. So I just kind of use it uh, after concealer, uh, which is this one, Maybelline, and it, this one's actually too light, so I should probably go darker than sand. Um, I love this little thing right here. Uh, this one of these. I have an extra one somewhere too. Um, this I don't use. I just got it for my sister for brows, but I just started using it. Elf eyeliners as well. I love liquid eyeliner in black. Mascara is Bad Gal Bang, which is like the best mascara that I've ever used. So I just get the small one and use all of it and then I put it back. Uh, I, I throw it out, get a new one when I need it. Um, as far as lipsticks go, I have this tinted chapstick, which is natural and stuff, and it's really pretty. It's got like um, a bunch of natural like plant stuff and oils, and it smells really good. And then I just have a few other lipsticks. Uh, one NYX liquid suede and just also I think it's I forget what this one is um and then this one that's pretty because it's just like basically clear and it changes color uh, when you put it on your lips actually depending on I think your body heat it's just super cute and it smells nice for my eyebrows then sometimes I'll just use this NYX brown eyeshadow. It's really, really, I love this. It's called Betrayal, but like that's, it's the nicest brown ever. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, it can be fixed. It says All May Turquoise, and I got it because I have turquoise hair at the time, and so my eyeshadow matched my hair perfectly, and then sometimes I would put it in my eyebrows, and so I'd have turquoise eyebrows. But I just got like this, these things that I don't really use that, only occasionally. And he's not a setting spray. Um, for makeup stuff, obviously, I just kind of have one of one or two of everything. Well, two eyeliners, because this one is just not good, so this, I'm using this one. Uh, like one mascara, one concealer, one bronzer, one blush, one highlighter, one thing of um, primer, one thing of setting spray, a few different lipsticks because you want variety for lips um, and then the two different eyeshadow palettes a few different eyeshadows but brushes you really want um, a few different ones and to take off my makeup I'll use uh, this cleansing water it's really soft and nice and I always get the big bottles so I don't waste a bunch of small plastic bottles and then I also use, I use this with reusable cotton rounds 
So that is it for my minimalist makeup. There's not there's not too much that you need, really, to have a good collection. And I used to hoard makeup, and I did one minimalist video on, like, getting rid of all that makeup that I had, and it, it just felt so freeing. And it feels so nice to just have this one basket with all my stuff inside of it and not have to scrounge everywhere for all these different places of where I was keeping all this different makeup that I wasn't even using all of them. So, I hope that you've enjoyed hearing about how you can have a minimalist makeup collection. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!